Hey guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card, and today I want to show you how to create a super happy design with rainbow colored die cuts, at least a rainbow design that you can do yourself. Now I'm using the Butterfly Drift die set by Simon Sestamp and the label of by Altenew. And the die set gives you a wonderful intricate um, a die cut, but we'll start with the label of stamp set. And the reason for that is I want to stamp my sentiment um, with Versafine black ink, it's a pigment ink. It actually dries rather quickly, but since there is so much of it, I'm rather um, stamping the sentiment at the very beginning of the crafting process, so it has time to dry until I'm done with the rest. So that's what I'm doing here, just stamping this, and you can see this nice rich black color. Now I've already, uh, I have a, one of the die cuts here, and what you get is you get um, an outline, and you get those pieces inside. So it's basically two things that you get after die cutting. I'm using a Simon Says Stamp Heavy Cardstock, so it's quite sturdy. And you can see how intricate this little, um, this outline here is, this thin outline. So you need some paper that can with, withstand that. Now, uh, I have that, that entire die cut piece was mounted on some post-it tape. It's just easier to keep it in place um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Copics and I'm going to um, uh, basically create a rainbow colored um, uh, color scheme. I'm just going to color it in rainbow colors. I'm sorry, I, I lost my train of thought there. I apologize. Um, and you can see here that I'm blending colors together, even some that go from very dark to um, a brighter purple. And the good thing about this is you can actually decide which colors you want to use. You know, maybe you want to start with greens because you prefer greens or you want to start with blues. It's all open to you. Um, I've created cards with uh, this dye uh, previously as well. And I just think it's perfect for like rainbow colors. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It just, you know, tell yells rainbow at me. Um, but for example, if you would prefer maybe to do a card for a guy and only use blue colors or maybe only green colors, you could do that as well. Just do an ombre effect. Um, and you can see here that I'm just basically doing um, Copic blending. Like there's no science to it. It's just basic Copic blending that I'm doing. Um, and it's just, it's just a lot of color. And as of recording this voiceover, it's the middle of January. It's just started to snow outside, so I'm craving color. Um, that's why I'm trying to go for anything that's bright and happy. Now, the die cuts themselves are rather simple. It's just shapes. So I decided to enhance them a bit. And I'm using a very fine uh, multi-liner here from Copic, but you can use any pen that you have that gives you very fine lines. And you can see that I'm just flicking um, some lines from the center of the body of, uh, of the butterflies off to the side to add some detail. Now I have a standard sized card base here. I have a panel that is cut a little less wide than the card base. I have a piece of pattern paper and double sided adhesive. I'm starting out by using the die to cut into the panel that will go on top of my card base. So that's what I'm doing off screen. I'm just going to keep this die cut um, for you know whenever I want to do another project with these butterflies. So this is just going to go off to the side. Now I'm using my double-sided adhesive paper and I'm adhering it to the left on, uh, on my card base here, trying to line it all up. Any double-sided adhesive will work. I mean, you could even use glue. I just like to use um, double-sided adhesive because it's easier and less messy. So I'm not now peeling this off. So now the part of my card base, like the left uh, side is all sticky. I'm using my piece of pattern paper. I think this is from my favorite things. It's a very dark blue. You could use literally any color that you feel goes with your rainbow. Um, and then I, because I did this card already on the trial run, I realized I needed to fit the outline shape back into um, the panel because otherwise it's possible that your paper, when you glue it down, will not um, uh, will not accept the, the die cut pieces later on because it doesn't go down exactly the way it's supposed to go. To go. That's why you should fit the, um, the outline back in. I'm just adhering some more double-sided adhesive here to make sure that my panel will stay down. Of course, you don't have to use the butterfly drift, whatever kind of um, dies you use, you can, you know, use the same die over and over to create this effect as well. Um, so, 
I mean, you, strictly speaking, you don't even need the outline, but here it would be kind of weird to not use it. And now I'm basically just puzzling this back in. It's actually very gratifying, you know, because you don't have to worry all the puzzle pieces will fit and you don't have to guess where they go. So this is like the most satisfying puzzle I've ever done <laughs> because it immediately works. Okay, so you can see here, we're tearing everything down. There we go. And then I'm using my Sharpie white marker just to add some white dots here and there because I just feel it adds even more interest to those butterflies. You can see that I like to use to do my usual pattern of like three larger dots and then fill in space with smaller dots. And of course, you have to vary it a little bit depending on the size of your, your, your shape or your stamp. And here we have the sentiment that has completely dried by now. I added some foam adhesive behind it. I now I can adhere it to my card and it's not going to like smoosh when I'm going over this. I discovered that I had some enamel accents from Create a Smile Stamps, which is a German company, and their colors just perfectly matched my rainbow butterflies. So I grabbed those enamel, um, uh, enamel accents and I'm just adhering them, you know, just three um, on the bottom and three on the top just for some additional interest. Then I'm using my Wink of Stella clear pen and adding some glitter on top of these butterflies. Be careful, um, the Sharpie pen, at least the one that I'm using, is water-based. That means that you could, you know, smoosh the um, the white dots so you don't, you, you can't go over them like too much, basically. I just have to be careful about that. Um, you can see here, at least I hope a little bit, the glitter that um, the very subtle glitter that the Wink of Stella pen adds, I, but I just really, really like it. And I also like the um, the label of by Alton New. It's one of their oldest stamp sets, but it's so versatile and it's great for simple cards like this where you don't want the sentiment to distract, but you know, you need something bold to contrast the bright colors. And here you can see I've created that card before. Had You know, the colors were a little bit different and I used a black pattern paper instead of the blue, but otherwise it was the same. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you got inspired and if you liked the video, leave me a thumbs up or subscribe. See you again soon. Bye bye.